to this angle here, this is one of the most fantastic angle that you can use to get a nice backdrop for your portrait shoot the next time you're here in Tien Ho Temple in Kuala Lumpur. Look at this, this is near Chinese New Year and they put up all this lantern. If you come somewhere in the evening, it's going to be even better. But for now, this is what I'm going to teach you what to do. The sun is clearly coming from the back. How do I know that? Simple. One of the things that you got to use to be an indicator of where the sun is coming in, that's the shadow. So that's the railing, that's the shadow. We know that the sun is going to be there. So most people would get their subject to be doing this. This is going to be hard to shoot. You're going to get a strong sunlight falling on your subject's face. You're going to get strong shadow as well. So we're going to use the background to light up a rim light naturally for my subject, the beautiful Raina. And I'm going to learn how to light it up from here. If you do this correctly, you're going to get this stunning background with the sun-kissed lanterns as a backdrop. Let's try this. First thing I'm going to do, teach you how to set up the flash. We have Yi Chong holding a handheld flash, a Godox TT685 with a small umbrella. We're going to set this to TTL. I doubt this will work but for now we're going to set it to TTL, the default mode. If you haven't watched this episode, please watch this episode where we put TTL wireless flash to the test. Now I'm going to go through with you the settings on my camera. On a bright sunny day like this, I'm going to bring my ISO down to 100 or 200 and I'm going to use a high F value because the background is so fantastic you want to get a deeper depth of field we're going to use F11 because it's a bright day after all and because I'm using a wireless flash the only thing I can do is to have my shutter speed not exceed 200 so here's the setting ISO 100, F11 or F8 and my shutter speed 1 over 200 and I'm going to have a remote trigger here that's going to trigger Yi Chong's flash wirelessly on a TTL now we're going to add Arena Hi, my name is Reina. Do follow me on my Instagram. Do leave your comment below and tell us what kind of video you like. Hope you enjoy the video. So here's the thing I want to share with you. If you're new with remote flashes and this is the first time you're using flash away from your camera or on your camera, one of the best things to do is use the settings that I mentioned. F8, F11, ISO 100 and then shutter speed 1 over 200. And all you need to do is just take a shot of your beautiful subject first without the flash firing take a look at the background first this is so bright move to a darker place take a look at the background this is just a bit too bright so f8 is not good enough i'm gonna bring this up to f11 and with f11 turn your face back to me a little bit that's good chin down and smile look look straight forward in front that's good one two and this is good the background looks amazing Rina looks two stops underexposed looking at the face. You can clearly check the histogram here. This portion here, this peak here on the right hand side, that's the sky and also all this cement railing that you see over there. And over here you can see that it stretch out and it goes all the way to the shadow. And there's a huge peak and bend on the shadow section. Whatever that's on the left is a shadow, whatever's on the right is the highlight or anything that's white. So remember this poem, whatever that's white, whatever that's bright will fall on the right. And this is on the extreme left. So all we need to do now is to add a flash. The easiest way to add TTL flash. So I'm going on a lower angle at F11 and turn your face more to me here. Chin down, look here. Yeah, that's right. Focus and... So with the flash going off, you can see the histogram looking different now. We have shifted the peak over from here to here and then we have this. So as you can see, Reyna looks completely well exposed. The background looks fantastic. The only thing that I don't like, I'm a little bit of a low angle, so Reyna looks a little bit too high. And I cropped off the temple at the back, the roof there. So let's do this again. Your flash is great. So I'm going to do a shot like this. Chin down a little bit. That's nice. And one, two, strike. Got it. Viewers. That's how you do a shot like this. You know how long we have run this YouTube channel? Not sure about that. Eight years. And look at the number of subscribers that we have. It's quite amazing. 222,000 subscribers. But don't you think that we can actually do better? Eight years. We should like get what, 2 million subscribers with beautiful girl like you in the video all the time, <laughs> right? So that's it. I really seriously need your help. As a content creator, it's amazing to get lessons and tutorials like this for free on YouTube. But smash the subscribe button right here give us more subscribers when that happens i'm gonna have brands all these camera brands lighting brands coming in and say that hey you got a lot of subscribers let's create more content and then we can actually do more videos 
So there you have it. Do me a small favor. Click the subscribe button and follow us and share the video so that more people can learn to take better photos. And that's it. Making videos like this is time consuming. It uses a lot of resources without you knowing it. That's the videographer there. That's Jin holding the camera and my producer here, Yi Chong. And we have Rena, which I have to hire her as a model and we got to get permits to shoot here. So that's it. I hope you head on to my e-learning section right here. Subscribe to my paid content. That way that will allow us to create more amazing contents like this on YouTube. Because money just makes the world go round. So if you subscribe there, you're going to get amazing content uploaded every week on a wide genre of photography. That's the e-learning. And then we have the premium courses. You're going to love the premium courses. Look at the price. For the whole year, you're going to get weekly lessons uploaded on this huge wide genre of photography. Camera set things, lighting, flash, composition, editing, portrait, product, photography, you name it, we have it in premium courses. Now, if you want both of them, premium courses and also e-learning, then you have the All Access. If you subscribe to All Access for one year subscription, this look, look at it, that, that's just the price of a few burgers that you're going to have, right? That way, you're going to help us to create more amazing content here. So truly, subscribe and support my e-learnings, my premium courses and All Access. Thank you. Hi, I'm Serena. You can follow me on Instagram. You can comment on the video. You can give us some ideas. We hope you like this video. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! You watch my YouTube. Okay, thank you. They are wondering like what we do behind the scenes. This is these are the kind of things that we do. This. Okay, I want you to be here. 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 Okay, I want you to be here.